Race is completed, everybody. So I just wanted to get this video up today. Uh, as you can see, car's back in the garage. Um, I wanted to hit everybody up some details on uh, how it went, what went on, because uh, people have been asking me, you know, how to go. So we had a blast. Put 1,600 miles on the car. Uh, we averaged between 23 and 26 and a half miles per gallon, depending on where you were. Except during the race, I think we were around 15 to 17 miles per gallon. I don't know because there was miles getting down, there were miles getting back, so tough to say, but it sucked it down a lot more during the race. Uh, I won the half mile shootout, 147 miles an hour in the half mile, by the way. Um, we didn't do so well in the timing part of it, the race out on the course, uh, because I was kind of testing the car out, made it very hard for my son to navigate. So that's my bad. Um, so, but yeah, next year. So the details on the car. So the car performed flawlessly for 1600 miles. Uh, the cruise control quit about halfway through the trip. No big deal. Um, I lost an AC knob because the hex um, set screw came off. Found the knob, put it back on, no big deal. Didn't touch the cruise. Other than that, no issues at all. So that's a good thing. Uh, during the race, <coughs> we averaged everyone over from 100 miles an hour to about 139. Uh, about 139 miles an hour sustained, so I wanted to see what the car would do. We had, uh, oil pressure was great. Oil temps were 197 to 208. They would climb to about 208 at a sustained 135 to 139 miles an hour. Uh, motor looked great, oil pressure looked great, coolant was running about 185, so no issues there. Only issue was the rear diff climbed to about 240 uh, when we climbed up into that, you know, 140 range. Uh, manageable, I'm running 140 weight, so really not going to affect it. Um, but that was it. Car handled great at 140. As I said, uh, during the half mile, ran 147, no issues. Would the car do 170, 180? I don't know. Uh, that's the question. I just don't know if I've got the guts to do it. It felt very stable at 147. Uh, cruising at 140, no issues. Six gear at about 3,800 RPMs, I believe. That could have been at a 120. I don't know. Um, it didn't pull very hard in six gear at those speeds. When I'd accelerate from 130 to 140, and it pulls, but it's not like it's putting you back in the seat, but you shift down to fifth. RPMs come up over 5,000. Better for the Coyote, and it pulls hard. Um, I think the car's got the power and the lack of uh, coefficient of drag to probably do 190. Don't know if it's going to sit on the road, what it's going to feel like. So it is what it is. But I'm going to throw up a quick video. Uh, any questions, throw them in the comments. As I said, it was a successful trip. No issues. And then I'm probably going to throw up a video of Patrick's car. This will be separate from this. Amazing build, by the way. Shout out to Patrick. Amazing build. Uh, so we'll throw his up. And then we had an epic trip on the way home up over Tioga Pass. I think it might be the first Type 65 to ever go up over the top Tioga Pass, which is almost 10,000 feet, and the views and photos were amazing. So I'll throw those up. So I got three videos that I'm going to throw up. Um, yeah, I think that should do it. So uh, follow along, watch some of the uh, racing action. Uh, as I said, my in-car camera was on time lapse when I started it. So. I'll throw some of that up. We do have some uh, video of the driver and navigator. I'll throw that up as well. We'll put it all into one here and see how it goes. But uh, thanks again for watching. Hit subscribe, and uh, it was a great time. I highly recommend everybody do it. So thanks. time lapse i apologize for this but this is all i've got from the in-car camera uh, i've got some other video i'm going to pull off a phone that my son had but uh so i'm trying to do a good chunk of the race here so as you can see the speedometer luckily it did show that i'm bouncing around a little over 120 and then it drops down uh, i think you see 141 142 at some point there's you know 137 136 uh car is just clipping along no problems you see the tape on the dash that's so my son can point to what speed he wants me to go at, which I didn't really follow a lot of times because I'm too busy trying to see how the car is going to perform. Uh, that was my number one goal, and next year I intend to be in the 165 group, so a whole different world, but uh, sorry about this. I really like that car. That's a pretty one. If I had the